the update and Lauren, can you walk us through what happened just moments ago? Well, Isabel, the House needed a simple majority to impeach the president and they got it. The final tally was 232 to 197. 10 House Republicans joined the Democrats and voted to impeach. House lawmakers charged the president with one article of impeachment for incitement of insurrection, citing his role in the attack on the Capitol. That violence happened one week ago today. Debate over impeachment lasted nearly three hours this afternoon. So now it's on to the Senate trial, but when is a bit up in the air? Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said that he will not call the Senate back to Washington this week. So the Senate trial is likely to dominate the early days of Biden. Biden's presidency. And we haven't heard from President Trump since the vote uh, became official. It did just happen moments ago. But while the House was debating, we did hear from the president through his press office regarding the reports of more demonstrations. He says in part, I urge there must be no violence, no law breaking and no vandalism of any kind. He's calling on all Americans to help ease tensions. And sources are telling both ABC News and CNN that President Trump is expected to respond to the impeachment proceedings before the end of the day likely through a video statement. We'll bring you any new developments both on air and through our free mobile app. Is Thank you, Lauren. Coming up at